Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Diablo 2. Yeah, the reason I'm doing this this morning is, well, I have no interwebs. Because our school is derp. And they need to do maintenance. Well, I, you know, I appreciate them doing that, but... Uh, at the same time, it's kind of inconvenient when you first get up in the morning, you know? Especially when there's stuff online you want to watch right first thing in the morning. But, whatever. We shall endure. Okay. So anyway, this is the World Strong Keep. We've all been here before. I'm going to try to skip by most of it. Because we're going to take on Bale today, hopefully. That's not the way we want to go. Alright, we'll fight these guys, I guess. Might as well. We need the experience anyway. Really like uh, some uh, better armor, but I don't think that's going to happen in this playthrough. Mainly yeah, because I absolutely refuse to grind in this game. <laughs> okay. Not sure what that was about. And we have internet back again, apparently. So I'll have to get back on here in a minute. I, I, I'll beat Bale before we get back online. Anyway. It's okay. I was gonna. I was planning on beating him today anyway. Trying to. So yeah, I was gonna play it last night, but my friend was online and I was having issues with uh, Team Fortress, which I finally got sorted. Kind of annoying what I had to do, but basically what I had to do is I had to completely reinstall Steam, which means I basically had to uninstall everything and reinstall everything related to Steam, which was kind of annoying, but. You do what you gotta do to uh, for your gaming, especially for Team Fortress. Team Fortress is worth it, I think. But anyway, whoa, shit! Yeah, the Berserkers are really weak health-wise. So yeah, come on, just die already. I just want to get through here. Not so much to ask. Probably after I beat Bale in uh, on my own, uh, or after I beat Bale here for the Let's Play, I probably will go back here and uh, you know come back to this act and grind for gear and stuff so I can play my nightmare. But I won't. I won't do that on camera. Now I did, yeah, I did come down here a little bit, but my Eliza died. Oh no, no, you're not dying today. No. Yeah, she was dying pretty bad down here, so so uh, yeah, I just had not to record it. Yeah, we're almost there, folks. Pretty soon we will be in. You leave Eliza alone. You cheeky get. Oh, he's apparently immune to being frozen. Holy shit, he's kicking my ass. I didn't even realize. Man, I didn't realize these guys were immune to the freezing effect. I don't know why they're immune to the freezing effect, but they are. It must be a new thing or something. I don't know. Some ultimate versions of enemies are like that, though. They'll be immune to certain effects from your spells. So. But anyway. 
We shall endure and kill the Baal and end the reign of the prime evils. Oh, you annoying fool. You had to teleport out of my blizzard unit. Actually, it's kind of good to use a uh, glacial spike here because they can't escape that as readily. Oh, this is a dinky map. Hello. Oh. Look how much damage they take. They can't barely take anything. The imps do a lot of damage, it's just they're really frail for Act 5 monsters. The uh, Dev Lords, on the other hand, are quite deadly. Why do you keep running up into them? That's really dumb of you, Eliza. I'm not gonna lie. It's really, really dumb of you. Now oh, we're about to level up, folks. I'm kind of excited. So that means I can put another point into Frozen Orb. Should be kind of nice for that now. And as you can see, you don't have to put a lot of points into a skill to be effective. It, uh, or at least one or two skills. You could, you know, you don't, it, for this for this difficulty anyway, you don't need a lot of points in this stuff. Except for maybe in one thing. <laughs> it's pretty much how I play my sorcery. You, you could laugh or deride me, but um, the way I play my necromancer is a little different. I tend to spread my points out a little more between the different skills. Mainly because, well, that's how the necromancer kind of works. I might do a necromancer. I might do another let's play of this and do a necromancer next time. I don't know. I might do uh, Amazon. Because that was my other dad's big character was an Amazon. He did ridiculous amounts of damage with that Amazon. <laughs> yeah, these guys are immune to freezing, apparently. Which is kind of annoying. I'm alive. They act kind of like bosses in that regard. That ring probably isn't worth diddly poop. Unless it somehow added plus two to all skills, which I severely doubt. Because most rings you won't find to have an effect like that. I'm really surprised you haven't found an amulet or something like that yet. Well, I have, just not for my character. Oh, these guys are fucking annoying. They do way too much damage. Yay, level up. Let's just put five points into me. Just so we have some more mana to play with. Um. Oh, you douche. Yeah, Bale did that, folks. I knew he was going to do that because he's a douche. Oh, yeah, if you stay, if you stand, if you stand still for too long, he will do that. Fuck y'all. Look at that. Look at how that synergizes with everything. It's just ridiculous. Ridiculous, I tell you. That's kind of why you don't want to stand in one place for too long in this area. Because Bale will fuck you in the ass hard. Oh, where are we going? Nowhere, apparently. Fucking okay. It's really weird. I didn't know they were immune to cold. Isn't that kind of strange? Oh, scale mail. Well, not that I need it, mind you. Ooh. Spear battle staff. And socketed, I think. This is always good. 
I'm really rocking now, folks. I'm kind of proud. See, I told you my spells would get better near the end of the game. You know, initially my spells kind of blew. All I had was Ice Bolt. Now I have Frozen Orb. Which is a kind of an awesome spell. Let's see what that staff is. Oh, it's ethereal. Of course it is. Of course it couldn't be fucking, uh, you know, just socketed. Well, it is socketed, but it's also ethereal. Which I don't think I've ever gotten before. Mmm. Alright. I'm gonna go to town real quick and do some selling and gambling and whatnot. Then we're gonna go down, because the next area is, if my memory serves me correctly, is going to be a horrible mess of a level. So, see you in a sec, folks. I really want to show you guys plate mail for my sorcerers, but I just don't have the money for it anymore. It's really annoying. Now, this area is difficult. There's just no two ways about that. And you are not killing Eliza now. No, 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 you're not. Oh, that's not a good start to this already. At least these succubi, or Stygian succubi, don't have the annoying blood curse thing. Well, they do have blood star, which is just as annoying if not more annoying. So yeah. Alrighty, let's go this way. Well, this area is the throne of destruction is a very difficult area. I would highly recommend you clear this area out before going down the middle. This app, this map is almost always the same. It's one of those kind of maps. It's almost always the bloody same. You'd most definitely want to clear this area out before uh, before you fight Dale. Z is one before you do the main area because that area is very difficult, especially near the not not all the way through, just near the beginning. They may not freeze, but they should treat a lot of damage from cold. I think the two point parts of the frozen orb that do the most damage there is the uh, are the bolts that come off at the end. In the main orb. That's where most of the. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, stop tanking, you stupid friggin'. Uh, Eliza! Jesus Christ. These Death Lords are exceedingly annoying. These guys are exceedingly annoying. Now I'm gonna have to go revive Eliza. I'm not gonna pause, I'm not gonna even bother. Oh my god. Annoying death lords are annoying. Come on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How do you like dim apples, biatch? Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wrong spell. Whoa, 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 whoa. I might have to go to town before we do the middle area. That bit's gonna be a bitch without potions. <laughs> okay. Why can't I hit him? Do do We're in the home stretch, folks. Holy shit, that's a lot of second line. This area is relatively easier than Ecromancer. Kind of. <laughs> kind of easy. 
kind of maybe easy. Don't want to go all We're just gonna spam Frozen Orb, mainly because these enemies are kind of annoying. Might have to go to town and buy some boats. Probably right after we clear out this side. Okay. I do believe most of this is cleared out now. The main reason you want to clear this out is so you have a place to run to. <laughs> this area is not easy. It's fun, but not easy. That was a glitchy sound effect. That was a very glitchy sound effect. Very digitized sounding. Pretty sure that's not what that's supposed to sound like. Frozen Orb is so awesome. Okay. Now, we go to town. So I'll do that off screen. See you in a bit, folks. That didn't take long at all, but anyway. Here we are. We're almost to the final stretch of the game. Almost. Okay. I'm gonna spam Frozen Orb some more. Promise I won't do this too much. This Blizzard takes too long to set up. I think. Oh, I find that very annoying about those. The whole immunity to being slowed. Thing. That would be really useful here, because those guys move kind of fast. Ah, uh, the throne of destruction. No, that curse is decrepify. That is a very annoying curse. Basically, what that does is it lowers my defense, increases the damage done against me, slows me down. Oh, it's awful. It's awful, awful spell. There's Bale himself and all of his ugliness. Alright, come on. Summon your little mon minions. Oh, Fallen. Really? Really, dude? Fallen? Alenzo? Seriously, man? This is the best you can do. Actually, they're kind of kicking Eliza's ass right now. Normally, I don't have a problem with these guys. Surprisingly, I am right now. Now you want to pick up as many of these potions as you can muster. Let's heal a lot. Oh, we all know this bit, don't we, folks? I don't know why they're sending unravelers against this, because unravelers are kind of easy. Yeah, you yuck it up, why don't you? Now they're going to throw council members at us. Pretty sure. And Eliza's gonna die again. Yeah, she died. It doesn't matter. We don't need her for this. She's probably she'd probably die to bail anyway. Council members are. It, oh man, that guy's lightning enchanted. That's really annoying. Oh shit. Oh, he dropped quite a bit of money. Now he will not. I don't think he'll do any. No, oh, no, he will. He will. Forgot about this bit. Now, the next thing should be Venom Lords. Yeah, Venom Lords. Not that difficult. I mean, just they're really fast. <laughs> okay, come on, die already. You guys are simple. Now this next enemy, I'm gonna have to spam friggin' Frozen Orb like nobody's fucking business. And you will see why. Now you know when I said there was an ultimate version of those little minions of destruction? Well... Yeah. Wow, they're a lot slower than I remember them being. They actually are really slow. The fuck? That was underwhelming. These guys used to rape me horribly when I was younger. In the earlier versions of this expansion. They take a lot of damage, though. 
Wow, cold does a lot to these dudes. I'm kind of disappointed, really. I remember these guys being a lot faster. They must have nerfed them. These guys used to rape the piss out of me. And everyone I knew. Kind of sad you won't be able to see them in their full glory. Yeah, we'll use some Blizzard too, since this is going easier than I thought I'd go. Yeah, usually you die at least I'd die at least once down here. Yeah, they move a lot slower. What the hell? Kind of liked it better when they were more difficult. Well, you're moving faster, though. Holy shit. This is underwhelm These guys are underwhelmingly weakened. Wow, they give a lot of experience when they die. They have a lot of experience when they die. <laughs> Might actually level up here, maybe not. Um Ow. Seriously though, they really nerfed these guys hard. I am not even joking. Come on, die already. I oh, didn't give shit. That is rather disappointing, Blister the Tormentor. Wow, really? That's it. Wow, yeah, you guys got nerfed hard in the last batch. <laughs> Holy shit, did you guys get nerfed hard. Those guys used to be the bane of my existence. Now they're pussies. Wow. I... Words escape me how... How disappointed that disappointing that was. I kind of almost don't like this patch now, mainly because of that. It made it almost too easy. That was kind of annoying and sad, really. So I remember those guys used to be rape machines. No joke. That's kind of depressing. Boy, they didn't drop shit here. There's the World Stone Chamber. Can we do it, folks? Can we defeat the final primeval and save Sanctuary? Probably not, because this is Diablo and everything's depressing and sad. Seriously. Oh, shit. Cthulhu! Tentacle rape! No! Oh, no! Annoying fucking. Stop with the tentacles already. Aw, oh, you would have that curse move. It's Bale. Oh, they gave him a new attack. Shit. Yeah, he can make a clone of himself. Not very fun. Ow. Sure. You're generally the one that takes more damage is the clone. Yeah, we don't want to be too far away from the uh, portal. <laughs> oh, you are annoying, you motherfucker. Probably going to use Blizzard primarily here. That is the clone. I kind of wish I had a shrine on right now. This is my take a while, folks. Well, he has teleport, too. That's really annoying. Ow, fuck you. Ow. I might actually die here. Ow. Maybe not, I don't know. That's the clone. I'm going to tell you that right now. You want to kill him quickly, though, because he will make more clones. And the clones do just as much damage as he does, so, yeah. Don't want to stand still for any length of time. Not here, anyway. Well, Mr. Clone, I'm pretty sure that's the clone, anyway. Because the clone does not, um... Yeah, the one usually who has lower health is the is generally the uh, real thing. Now, now some more. Now again. See, the clone does hurt you just as much as normal Bale does. Now. Actually, I'm not sure. That might actually be the real Bale. I don't know. Now, fuck. I forgot how difficult he is. 
Not as difficult as Diablo tends to be. Wow. Okay, right, we're gonna go to town now. This Bale is an annoying cockspear. <laughs> it's actually not bad for a javelin thing. You're gonna buy potions. We're gonna deposit some stuff real quick. I know, I know, this is kind of dumb. <laughs> Whatever. I forgot he had that annoying curse, though. It's kind of a hassle. I know, you know, you guys didn't really get to see me use half of those, uh... Half of those spells. It's actually kind of a nice place to fight him from. Uh, Dale, you're being kind of dirt, dude. Ouch. It's kind of dumb. Oh, don't teleport like an annoying bitch. Yeah, that's a clone. It's kind of obvious that's a clone. I think it's kind of dumb that the clone and him do just as much damage. But at least he does all types of damage, just like his other his brothers do. Now you can make this slightly easier on yourself by having ah oh. Yeah, he is most definitely a Cthulhu monster, kind of. Ow, oh, fuck. You know, I'm not the only one who can teleport, Vale. Just saying. Yeah, that's a clone. Oh, you would. God, I put a, a bunch of points into vitality. Ah, fuck you! Ouch. Try to put a TP up. Just a clone. Ow, I'm fairly certain that's a clone anyway. Ow! <laughs> okay, we're going to town. Probably gonna go to town more than we did with Diablo, mainly because he has some really annoying abilities. Okay. I'm gonna put up another portal. We'll probably have to get a get grab portal soon, also. Hello, Bale. Pretty sure that's a clone. Could be wrong though. Yeah, it's the one. Where are you? Oh, that is him. What do you know? Ah, shit. That's a clone. I think. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's so hard to tell. I know there is a, a specific way to tell. Like the way the. They might have changed it. Yeah, I think they might have changed it between versions. But the old way of being able to tell is. Uh, you motherfucker, you had that stupid curse on me again. But the old way of telling was basically the real bail, the D on the demon was a little bit different. Stop with that stupid blood curse. Ow. Now some more. You see, his his attacks aren't as damaging as Diablo, but they are more annoying. The only reason he does a shit ton of damage to me is because of that stupid blood curse. Now. Now. Yeah, I think it's time to go to town again. Of course, he's right next to my portal. He's annoying cockschmear. Yeah. It's annoying. Hopefully he drops some good shit. He probably would. Yeah. 
Ow, oh, fuck you. You don't like me very much, do you, Bale? Probably level up when I kill him, too. Ow, oh, shit. Down to five portals. Next time I go to town, I need to buy some more. He's getting there, folks. I'm pretty sure this is the real Bale. That's the fake Bale. I don't know, it might be the real one. We're almost there, folks. Just a little bit more. Fuck you. I have no idea which one's the real one. Pretty sure it's that bottom one. Could be wrong. Yeah, that's the fake fail. Oh, you cocksmear. Where'd you teleport to? You're all the way over here. That's right, you whore! Yeah, puke out your guts, you asshole. Douche. Basically, what you end up finding out is that the world stone has been corrupted by Mephisto's touch. So, material is supposed to appear in Exposit by that point. He's not showing up for some reason. Do, do, ooh, look at all the gold. Holy shit. A lot of gold there. He didn't drop much. I'm kind of disappointed. Usually Diablo or Bale uh, drops a lot more than that. But whatever. Um, pretty sure ba uh, what's his name is supposed to show up. Ah, here he is. Basically, what he tells you is that since the world stone is corrupted, he has to destroy it. Because uh, since it's corrupted, it basically will allow all the demons back in, and no one's really sure what will happen when you when uh, the world stone is destroyed. Now, the world stone is basically kind of the thing that keeps hell from getting into sanctuary and heaven from getting into sanctuary. It's also where they get the soul stones from, because the soul stones are basically fragments of the world stone. But uh, no one's really sure what will happen in uh, to the world when the soul stone, world stone is destroyed. So, yeah, and we will see what happens. Maybe someday, what happens to the world's home and the world, for that matter, just the world in general, when we defeat, when we go to play uh, Diablo three. And for now, we're going to just click on this portal, which will end the game. I can always come back here again, so don't worry. Yay! I got the ending title screen, which looks kind of crappy. Yeah. Yay, you don't get to see the movies because they're in full screen and all that. Well, I hope you enjoyed my Let's Play of Diablo 2, Lord of, De Lord of Destruction. I had fun doing it. I don't know if you had fun watching it or not. Um, so yeah, that's the game. I guess I'll show you a little bit of Nightmare. Probably won't be there long. Though. Basically the same, you know. 
Same, same old, same old. Uh, but the enemies are slightly tougher. And you will notice that my resistances have gone down. As you can see, slightly tougher enemies. And they drop a lot more gold. Basically, the only difference between normal and nightmare is it's a lot harder, and the enemies are tougher. So yeah, see, typical zombie, blah blah. We've all seen this shit before. Whereas we got a boss already, though. Holy crap! Might drop something good. I don't know. Hope he does. <laughs> well, anyway, folks. That's that. So anyway, until the next Let's Play, folks, see you then. Uh, bye bye oh, I'm going to miss doing this game. Oh, well. See you guys later. Bye.